is if you want the digital YSF functionality, that would mean that would the repeater could only operate in digital, uh, which would exclude a lot of analog users. So that would obviously make people very upset. Now with the uh, new firmware, you can have um, the mode on on both analog and digital, and it's the linking from within the repeater that can only be either analog or digital. So the idea is that, say, if you link it digitally, that means that on digital you get the full fat YLX functionality, whereas for analog use, it just sort of feels like if it's a normal analog repeater, you know, as it has been for, you know, decades. Now that's what we the plan with DW. Until then, well, we just have to drift that open. Could well be good, I suppose. Once it's all sorted out. So that's. See if I've got this right. You're suggesting we make TW a digital input, then, yeah? Uh, yes, indeed. So if you are using TW, uh, just use the AMS mode, you know, the one that is. Uh, uh, which has the bar on it. So when you see DN or VW or FM, if you have a bar in it, that means it's automatic mode selection on your radio. So that means that if it's FM, then it switches to FM and decodes FM, uh, or demodulates FM, if it's digital, it decodes the digital for you. Now that's great um, for, for that because it has the flexibility, but right now TW is set up in such a way that it's uh, automatic mode selection on the input and FM only on the output for the linking features. So if you set your radio up the opposite way around, so anything in and fix digital out, which you can actually do from within the menu, then you get the increased audio quality on the input while you are listening on the repeater in an analog way. So as, as 